What's going on YouTube? This is what we're Josh. We're back again with another video today. This time we're going to be looking at the NVIDIA Shield Remote. Now, this thing does have a retail price of $49.99 as of recording this video. I do have a Shield unboxing if you want to check that out. This is the remote. I want this because I don't want to carry this controller and constantly turn it on to you know, pause arrow. <laughs> I'm heavily into that show trying to catch up and get to the end of the season for waiting for the next season to come out. If it's already out, I don't know, but yeah. So I don't like to turn my remote on to just to pause it or something. I like to have a little remote that's tiny and doesn't require batteries every, you know, <laughs> few weeks or whatever. So I got this thing. Plus I can also plug in some headphones into it and listen to my show. Uh, if my so I don't wake my daughter up or something like that. So this is, I would honestly want to say it's overpriced, but it just depends on how bad you need this. It does come with the remote and the remote does have a headphone port on it. And the, it's just a little bit heavier, a lot bigger, and it's going to take more batteries than this little guy's going to take. All right, here we go. Shield TV remote. I do have the stand coming as well. So we're going to have a full like, thing we're gonna have all the accessories for the shield and we're gonna make videos i'm not gonna make a video on the stand itself but when i do a video on the nvidia shield pro that comes uh, to says june 12th it ships i will have the stand included in that video so here we go headphone jack for private listening microphone for voice search that's another really cool thing this does have a milton microphone so you can chat oh and for those of you that are curious usb webcams do work on the nvidia shield i was live streaming on my twitch because it does have built-in twitch streaming uh, at least with the latest update. I held down the home button when I first got it and it didn't pull up the Twitch broadcast thing, but after I updated it, it did bring up the Twitch broadcast thing. So you can live stream from Twitch and you can hook, I have a crappy little USB camera and it was working just fine and the audio was coming from the headphones that were plugged into the controller. Or you can, if you don't have headphones plugged into the controller, it'll just use the microphone from the controller, which isn't the best microphone in the world. But I know I got a lot of questions about that, so I'm going to go ahead and answer that now. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and play with it. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Very nice packaging, actually. I guess if you pay $50, they want you to have a nice box. What else is in here? Wow. They include a full-size micro USB cable for charging it. Very cool, because I really do like these cables. They're very firm. They're solid. I haven't had any issues with them. And they got the NVIDIA logo on them, which is awesome. You got some books and stuff that you're never going to read. So let's go ahead and put all that back in there. All right. So cool. Let's go ahead and peel this back. And yeah, so it does take a built-in battery. And what you do is you charge it like this. So the battery in here is going to be not removable, but you're going to be able to charge it up really easily. You could plug this into the USB port on the back of the shield, or you could also use like a power bank, for example, that we just got today. Or I mean, just did the video on today. I got it a couple days ago, but and then you plug this in and boom, it doesn't. Oh, it's pulsing. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's pulsing that is charging. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's neat. It's not like a little bit tiny light at the bottom here that you can barely see. Very thin remote. Like, insane thin. Like, that is a ridiculously thin remote. Very lightweight. It's almost like it's nothing in your hands. That's awesome. So you've got right, left, up, down, like, uh, okay, enter, whatever. Your microphone, I'm assuming. And then you got back, home, and then the voice search. And then, of course, that charging port for charging this up. And then that headphone jack for listening to your scary sh movie or, you know... <laughs> Whatever it is you watch that you don't want others to know what you're watching. <laughs> All right. It's very cool. Let's go ahead and play with this thing, hook it up, and yeah. I'm going to use my cell phone to record this next part, so it's probably going to not be the best quality in the world. That's cool. A little number on here showed up after I plugged it in, so I'm going to do that again. Plug it in. Little number shows up. Now it's charging. That's awesome. That is freaking awesome. I bet you this thing at 20,000 milliamp hours could charge this thing like a thousand times. <laughs> All right. So we're using the Nexus 6, the camera on it, recording in 4K with the 
Nexus 6's microphone, and hopefully this isn't too bad. I'll try to keep this part short, and we got our NVIDIA Shield here with only the power and HDMI plugged in. What we're going to do is hold down the home button. I think it's going to be this one to sync it. We're going to find out. I have not synced this yet or done anything with it. I wish it would stop focusing. I'm sorry about that. All right, so maybe it's um, something else. Let's see. Oh, here's what I can do. Hold down the, pow the little power button on the unit, and typically it shows this. Okay, here you go. Now you can do it, and it should connect in a second here. Tap button. Oh, tap button. Okay, tapping. I'm tapping the button. I'll tap it again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the second press registered. Now it looks like it's syncing this remote to the... NVIDIA Shield TV. This thing is so light. You would easily lose this thing. What does that say? I don't know what that's saying. I think that meant the battery is dead. So we're going to use this little battery bank again and plug the controller in. Because it keeps flashing and then turning off. So I think the battery is going to, your remote is going to be dead when you first get it. At least mine is. So now that it's charging, maybe it'll work. Alright, we got a check mark this time. I just went ahead and pressed the power button on the console here, and then I did it again. This time with it plugged in and charging. So, oh cool. How did I turn the volume up? That was weird. No way. No freaking way. Okay, look. Look, look. Swipe down. Swipe up. <laughs> down up that is so cool like I never would have known that if it hadn't been for the accident that when I when I went to grab it and change hands and I accidentally slid that that is so freaking cool so it's got a volume slider that you really wouldn't know it's there until you accidentally found it and then you've got like so here's the update ready to install oh another one huh okay so apparently there's this is the second time I've got an update maybe it's just the accessory like the controller here, which you probably should have let it charge before doing this more than it is. So it looks like it's just updating the accessories. I don't have the controller synced at the moment, it's in my other room. And also I noticed that the old NVIDIA Shield controller I had had a home button there. I know it's hard to see, but it had a home button there and that one's got like a circle button, like the new Android home button. No, you're not going to be able to see it in the picture there. So this is really cool. And if you're watching a scary movie or again something you don't want everybody to know what you're watching, you plug in your headphones to support port here, and you can control the volume with the little uh, invisible slider here. Alright, we got a little check mark, and our controller looks like it's off at the moment. Oh, okay. It's not actually off. It just looks like it's off. There's no lights or anything. So I probably gotta unplug it and plug it back in now. Now it's pulsing. So can you not use it while it's charging? That would be a little bit of a bummer. Huh. Alright, now that I unplugged it, it looks like it's working again. Let's go ahead and charge it one more time and see if... Yeah, no, it cancels out all the buttons whenever you plug it in. That's a little bit of a bummer, so just make sure that you have it fully charged. Before editing the video, I just thought I'd uh, go ahead and disclose some additional information that I found. I did plug the micro USB cable that came in the box into the bottom of the remote and it's charging via the USB port on the Shield TV console and I have learned that it's pulsing letting you know that it's charging and I can still use the remote while it's charging so I'm thinking that this is a data cable like it's literally a wired connection at the moment and it's just charging the battery so if you have it plugged into like a power bank or a phone charger uh, it's going to probably shut off the wireless in the remote and just use wire. Which you're not going to do because you're plugged into a power bank. I'm not sure. Again, this is all speculation, but you can charge it if you plug it into the USB port on the back of the console. So let's try that, the searching again. Uh, you also do have to hold down this button, arrow. Let go when you're done talking, and now it's going to find arrow. <laughs> uh, watch Flash. I'm addicted to Flash. I'm caught up. I love the show. And my wife was talking about how Arrow and Flash usually merge. And so finally I started watching it. Now I'm almost caught up. All right, that's about it. You can use the remote when it's charging if you're connected to the NVIDIA Shield, as far as I'm aware. Again, this is just the, like, experimenting, finding things out about it, 
running tests. Uh, yes, I do have Chrome installed, and Chrome does work just fine. So does Firefox and all the other little things I've sideloaded on here. And then to go back, I just press the back button, and if I go to like the Google Play Store, I can hit Home to take me back home. I believe the battery in this thing needs to be charged some more because it's just not responding at the moment and I can't use it while it needs charged. So this was just the unboxing. I'm even going to have a full review of this thing probably here in the next week or two after I've had more time with it. I definitely recommend picking it up. It is an amazing media center that can handle MKVs, MP4s, uh, pretty much anything Kodi can handle and Kodi is amazing, amazing software that allows you to view any video you want to on your TV. So when I go over to my family member's house, I will be able to bring this little guy with me. Well, this one, I'm not keeping. I'm giving it away. I have a pro one coming on the 12th, and that'll be what that I bring with me places and you know, hook it up to their TV and watch movies and stuff like that. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.